simply use tip of your three fingers, go like that, and boom shakalaka. You take a screenshot. Hi guys, this is Max from HighOnAndroid.com, where we get <laughs> on Android every day. Today I'm going to show you stuff you must do after buying. Let's go do this, baby. Alright guys, if you guys want to save some battery life, because the OnePlus 5T is an AMOLED screen, which means when displaying blacks, it doesn't use any energy. Basically, the LED is turned off. That's how all OLED LCDs work, and they give you a better contrast. If you go into settings, I've changed my theme to black, right? This saves a ton of battery life, especially when you're fiddling with these menu buttons. You don't need to waste battery life with the default white background. Alright, to get this, simply go into display, go into theme, and change it from the default. I'm just showing you the default theme. You can see how much energy is being wasted anytime you're on the screen. So go ahead and change that to dark. All right, and you've instantly changed from using 100% of the display to maybe 1% for these letters. And if you like a certain color, um, such as the green, you can go ahead and choose here. Let's say blue and boom shakalaka. Now this theme will be applied to all the settings UI, basically all the UI stuff. And also it's easier on your eyes at night. And next, if you need a larger or smaller font size, go into font size and go ahead and change the font small, default, and I like it actually a little bit large. And also display size allows you to put more items if you make it small. This is a default. If you use reading glasses, you can make this a little bit larger. I like to fit more stuff in my screen, so I'm going to set this to small. All right, if you want to receive notifications when the screen is off, go ahead and turn the ambient display on, and that will wake the screen so you can see your notifications in the middle of a basketball game or football game or baseball game. And also you have the option to wake screen when you pick up the phone. You can go ahead and enable that option. All right, here's a really cool option. If you want to have screensaver while you're charging, um, this is a great option. Go into screensaver. Uh, you can set it to claw colors. All right, you can choose Pandora. And what that happens is that when you have the screensaver on, let's say you're charging, um, it's going to allow you to have Pandora running in the background. All right, it's going to look like that. You can simply hit play and that will start playing uh, Pandora. So you can have Pandora running with your phone locked while charging. But what I like to do is grab some photos from my Google Photos, and I have this set to certain album. Right now it's set to camera. So what happens is that uh, when I start charging, it's simply gonna go through all my Google Photos that I like. Um, these are actually the photos I took uh, with my 35 millimeter film camera, the Canon 81. And this is a nice way to use it as a screensaver while your phone is charging. Also, you do have to choose when to start the screensaver. Um, so make sure you set it to while charging. And I'm not actually sure what the dock is. Um, maybe there's a dock for OnePlus 5T. All right, one of the biggest features of the OnePlus 5T is the reading mode. For example, if you read books using Amazon Kindle, um, you can have it automatically turn on by adding it for the reading mode. Now, reading mode basically turns your whole phone into black and white. This is actually how Samsung's ultra saving mode works. So this will also save you a ton of battery life. When you run out of battery life, Go ahead and turn the reading mode on. That'll give you a ton more battery life. Your whole phone will be in fully black and white. Also, if you're reading a lot of websites, this may ease your eyes. And if you want to be able to toggle this, you can go ahead and add the reading mode to your quick toggles, all right? Very quick. And make sure to go ahead and edit your quick toggles by hitting the button there. And you can go ahead and customize all your buttons. For example, I never use airplane mode because I don't really travel much these days, so I took that out. If you want to be able to toggle gaming, do not disturb. So you don't get disturbed while playing games, you can go ahead and add that toggle. I'll have more on that also. Also, hotspot, I like to use that often, so I put that there. All right, let me get out of the reading mode. Also, you may want to set night mode, which I like to um, make it set on, turn on automatically uh, from sunset to sunrise. And this Will give you a warm temperature and i guess based on studies by having it in night mode you'll be able to sleep better also it's much easier on your eyes at night especially when you're using your phone in the bedroom all right before you go to sleep so make sure to set this if you have sensitive eyes like myself all right screen calibration yeah this is a huge one i actually have it um slightly warm i don't actually like any of these all right let me go ahead and show you what the default looks like default looks like that srgb slightly flatter dcip3 slightly warmer adaptive mode sort of changes um this is slightly warm slightly more saturated 
So I really like this look. Definitely calibrate your screen to your preferences as it can make a huge difference on this display. Okay, let's go back out into the regular settings menu. Now OnePlus 3T is awesome because it's a pure Android with customization added. Um, they have a lot of the features added from custom ROMs. Um, so first up is alert slider, uh, silent at the top, do not disturb in the middle, ring on the bottom. If you set it to silent, uh, alarms will work. Uh, but you have the option to mute media volume that will pretty much mute everything like you play youtube videos it will mute also you could disable vibration if you want now with the do not disturb so i don't pick up phone calls from people i don't know um, because it's usually spam so i have it set to from contacts only also if you're paranoid you can have repeat callers if they keep calling within three minutes you can have it allow the call to ring all right you can also have it set to favorite contacts only and you can go ahead and manage your favorite contacts and select the contacts you want to receive calls from in do not disturb mode um also you can set the message from contacts only also i've been getting a ton of spam sms and it's really annoying and you can set that if you have it on do not disturb mode also you can disable the pulse notification light if you want and if you obviously have it at ring it's going to be normal mode all right next up is buttons i really love how the oneplus 5t allows you to customize the buttons you can also swap the buttons down here here if you want the recents on the left I actually kind of like it like that All right if you want to hide the navigation bar for example you're playing a game or any kind of app uh, watching YouTube video you can go ahead and enable hide the navigation bar All right you can always hide the navigation bar by hitting that button All right if you want to come back up go ahead and hit it again and now it will stay now this becomes very useful when using apps for example let's say I'm on Instagram I don't want the navigation bar then I can go ahead and browse like this and then use Instagram. And if I need the navigation bar, I can just bring it up, right? And if you wanna keep it permanent, you can go ahead and hit it again. And now it's a permanent navigation bar. So that's a very good option. It's a great way to utilize more of the screen. So definitely use it. All right, if you wanna customize these buttons to have extra actions when you do a long press or double tap, um, you can go ahead and customize them here. All right, for example, if you wanna change the long press action for the back button, you can have it going to the Google Search Assistant. All right, so when I hold down the back button, it's gonna bring up Google Assistant. All right, next, let's go into gestures, one of the biggest, coolest features of OnePlus 5T. If you wanna be able to use your fingerprint to swipe up and down the notifications, um, go ahead and enable that. Now I'm going to be able to swipe with the fingerprint sensor to access the notification panel. All right, also you can long press to take a photo. This is going to come in very useful when you're taking a selfie from far away. All right, so let me go ahead and demonstrate real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and hold down the fingerprint sensor, take a photo. That's cool, right? Okay, next up is flip to mute. If you have incoming call and you want to just be able to um, do that because you're in a meeting or something and that will pretty much mute your call. All right, if you want quick screenshots, enable three finger screenshot, simply use tip of your three fingers, go like that and boom shakalaka, you take a screenshot. Also, you can go ahead and enable double tap to wake. This becomes very useful. If you have facial recognition on, simply double tap and boom shakalaka, it's already unlocked. That is actually really awesome because the original OnePlus phone actually came with that feature and now with the facial recognition, it makes it perfect uh, for the wake without having to hit the power button. All right, if you're listening to music and you wanna be able to use gestures, all right, you can go ahead and swipe down with two fingers to play or pause music, or you can draw an arrow to next or previous. So enable that. I don't actually use that much, so I have it turned off, but some of you might find it very useful. Also, you can go ahead and customize all these different actions. For example, draw O, you can have it uh, open the camera. So I'm gonna draw O when my screen's off and boom, take a photo. And also I have V as flashlight. You can see it's working really well. Double tap and boom, unlock. That is fast. All right, and you can customize the S, M, and W. You can have it even going to a certain app. Like for example, S goes to my calculator. So I can go like this. For example, I need to use a calculator without unlocking my phone. Boom. Okay, the gestures, make sure you set them up when you get your phone, because a lot of times you forget to set this up when you get this phone and you never end up using it. Um, set it up so you make your life easier and faster. Okay, if you scroll down to the bottom of the settings, you can go to advanced here, and there's some additional options that is only offered by OnePlus 3T. 
Uh, one of the biggest ones is gaming do not disturb. When you're gaming and you want to be able to keep playing gaming, but you want to talk to the person and answer through the speaker, then you can have this option on answer through speaker. And also you can go ahead and block notifications when gaming do not disturb is on. And also you can have gaming do not disturb on automatically for certain games you want. For example, let's say, let's say I'm playing Tetris. I don't want to be bothered. Go ahead and do that. So that's a really cool options for gamer. And I think OnePlus 3T is really built for gamers. And this is a very good way to enjoy your game so you don't get disturbed. All right, you have an option to change um, the Bluetooth audio codec from SBC, APTX, ATPX HD. Also recent app management. This is kind of cool. You know, when you clear your apps, hit that button. Now the normal clear, will actually clear task list and cache without clearing background process. Now, if you wanna completely close them all out, you can do the deep clear. This is actually a very good option because with certain phones, it will automatically do one of these. But with OnePlus 3T, you have the option to do the normal or deep clear. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. As always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.